Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, so, uh, we've got kind of a lot of stuff in our inventory, so we should, ideally we should settle down and, you know, start crafting things, but I still haven't found a reliable source of fresh water. So we're going to keep looking around until we can find something. Uh, like I mentioned before, a, there's a rabbit, a, um, a swamp biome would be the best thing for us. I'm not sure if there is one here, but if there is, we're going to find it. Uh, let's go... Uh-oh, what do we have here? An aberrant snake. A slithering poisonous reptile appears ambivalent to your encroachment. So this, the creature seems abnormally territorial and aggressive. Now that's a direct... <laughs> That's that's a, a direct contradiction to what it just said. It appears ambivalent, but it's probably very hostile. So we need to stay away from that. I hope it's not chasing me. Yeah, that's a that's a clever snake. Oh man, now here's another one. Now this one, it says appears ambivalent, it's not hostile, so maybe that'll be okay. Alright, we've got a slime over here. Now, I'm a little concerned because our health is just over half. Um, that's obviously not ideal. We could craft a bandage at this point, which is probably what I should do. So we made that, and I'm going to go ahead and use it also. So let's scroll down here, and we're going to say heal. And now our health is looking a little better, so we don't have to necessarily shy away from something like a slime. But I'm not going to fight unless I have to right now. Alright, so here's a tiny bit of fresh water. Um, of course, that's not going to be enough to sustain us. And I need to purify the water in my, in my bottle anyway, which I'd have to do with a fire, I'm pretty sure. Our food situation's not looking good, so I think we're going to have to temporarily stop and try to eat. So here's what we're going to try to do. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Now let's look over here at the things we can make. So we could make cooked spider meat, right? But we have to have a fire source. Um, again, need that fire source. Usually there's a couple of different ways you can make a fire. Um, but I don't have, I don't have any of the things I need to do it is the problem. So let's take a look here. Where is it? Um, there's a hand drill, so that's one way to make a fire. I need two wooden poles to do that. So that's a bone pole. That's not what we need. We need a wooden one. So to make a wooden pole, let's see if we can find that down here. It's sometimes a little tricky to find what you're looking for here. I'm not seeing a pole. All right, let's let's look at this log. Let's dismantle. And we got we separate. Oh, we got three wooden poles that time. Okay. So here is a hand drill. So we're going to make that and it says we have crafted a hand drill. So, now that that's good. That's good. Uh now here's also a fire plow. So that's a, that's a, one of the other uh types of fire making devices. All right. So now the question is, how exactly are we going to make a fire, right? Well, we've got the fire plow, so let's go down here and right-click, and it says start fire. Now, you failed to start a fire. Well, okay, let's try it again. Uh, okay, and we failed again. I'm pretty sure we can just use the stuff we have in our inventory See, this is to stoke, that's not the, to start. So this is still just to start a fire. All right, so your feather is close to being, oh, we're using a feather for some reason. I don't know why we're doing that instead of, is that the only kind of kindling I have? Let's, okay. Let's see what we can get here. We didn't produce any resources that time. That time we did. We got uh, some leaves, branch, and plant roots. Alright, the leaves should help us, I would think. Yeah, just, well, it's, it's as tender when it's dried. 
That's not dry. Alright, let's try to start fire. We're still failing every time, but I don't know. There we go. Alright, so we have started a fire for the first time. That's great. Um, so what we can do is make some cooked meat. And it says that you failed to prepare the cooked meat due to lack of skills. So we're going to just try it again. Until we get it right. And there we got it right. So we've got some cooked meat. I'm going to go over here and say eat. And as you can see, we have done just that. Alright, let's go ahead and cook the spider meat as well. Um, what else can we make here? We can make some pemmican, which is dried meat. So we're going to make that as well. Alright, and so our fire is done, but you know, that's okay. Except for the fact that I didn't get around to, uh, to purifying our water. So I'm going to have to start another fire. Let's see if I can. Okay, so we did that time. So we're going to make purified water. So we're going to go ahead and... Well, we'll drink that once we really need to. We're at 54% when it comes to hydration. Let's see if there's anything else that we need to make right about now. This has nothing to do with the fire, but uh, string would probably be a good idea. My, um, I'm sure my... Spear already broke, so we can make another one. Or we can make a wooden sword. Let's make a wooden sword. All right, we failed. And then we finally succeeded. All right, so we're going to equip to our left hand, because that's what we're using. And we're going to make a string real quick. Uh, we could make a suture, but I'm not going to make that right now. Just looking at these other things we've got. Okay. Uh, it looks like I, the fire is spreading, so it might be time for us to get out of here. I was wondering if that might happen, because I don't remember if it... It might spread? Yeah, it says a dangerous open flame. Well, it might spread, it might not. I don't know. All right, moving right along. Now, here's two sources of fresh water. That's good to see. Now, what do we have here? We have an apple tree, and it's in the ripening stage, so we can't exactly harvest it just yet. So this is a swamp biome, but it's just a tiny swamp biome. So that doesn't help that much, but there's three sources of water right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink my purified fresh water now. And now we have just the empty bottle. What we're going to do is go to the water. Uh, oh, I forgot how we do this. Do we stand in the water? No, we don't. Uh, we just gather the water, I think. Uh, why, how come I never... Uh, we did this last time, I already don't remember. Gather water. That's the way to do it. Okay, I'm dumb. Alright, there's a puddle of fresh water in the swamp. Let's see if we can find... Ooh, what do we have here? Rocks with talc in them. Quite a lot, it looks like. And there's some tin. Tin there. So this would obviously be a great place to do some mining, even though we're not ready for that at all. Oh, I think I just saw a spider. Yep, yeah, there's a spider. I missed, and I missed. There we go, we got him. Okay, got some spider silk here. Uh, we want to pick that item up. And then we want to carve with tool. Get a little more spider meat. Alright, that's clay. Oh, here's some more fresh... Okay, so here's some more swamp biome. I think we found our place. Let's just see if there's any more swamp around here. Oh, there's another rat. Well, all right, I'm going to take care of that. And let's carve with a tool, see what we can get here. Some meat and some bone stuff. All right, not too bad. Uh, we can make another bandage, so I'm going to do that. We can make a suture. <sighs> Again, that might be a good idea. I don't know if it's the best idea right now. Uh, so we'll need a fire source to do all that stuff again. Uh, let's make the sinew. And the sinew will make us, or allow us to make another string. Uh, so then I could make a suture. Well, I failed. Let's try it. Failed again. My string is close to being destroyed. I still want to try it again. 
Okay, so that's not going to happen right now. All right, let's just clear this area. And what I mean by that is let's just make sure we can see it. All right, we killed that rat. I'm just going to let that go for now. All right, so we know what's happening there. So what this is, this is probably just going to be a temporary spot for us to hang out because there's not a lot of water here, but there is. Can I not walk over that tree? There looks like there might be some more of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all fresh water right there. Okay, this is good. So this is going to be a spot where we set up. Let's see what we can do real quick. Let's see if we can carve, get some stuff to start a fire. I guess if, maybe if I start a fire like in the dirt as opposed to in the grass, it won't be a problem. I don't know. All right, and we really need a hammer so that we can repair stuff. Like, as you can see, my hand drill is already down to durability 1 out of 10. It might even break while we try to make the fire here. Yeah, it just broke. All right, not good. Not good. All right. So we got some more, well, we got a branch and some tree bark. I was hoping to get some poles, but we didn't. All right, so we're going to dismantle this log. That's going to be the way to do it. All right, so we can, let's see. Well, let me make sure I can't make, yeah, so there's a hammer. We're going to make that. So now we can repair stuff in the future. Uh, and then, of course, we're also going to make a fire plow this time. Uh, so we might lose our shale, but and that's one of our cutting tools. Uh, the shale was destroyed, but we did craft the fire plow, which is good. Um, let's see what else. Oh, we can make a bow now. Now, the fire plow, I don't know how that's how that is, you know, if, is it better or worse or the same as the hand drill for making a fire? I don't know. I feel like a fishing rod would be a good idea as well. Though I would use my last string, but that's okay. All right, so we made a fishing rod. All right, let's try to make a fire. Let's go here. There, so we got a fire going. Let us cook some spider meat. Let's, there's tainted meat, but that probably would not be a good idea. There's more pemmican. Uh, we can purify our water. We can also make a skull cap, which we're going to do. And that. Now that's interesting, a bone pull. I wonder what we could turn that into. I'm going to make that. Uh, a sharpened bone. I mean, that's fine. We'll, we'll need something like that. Uh, especially because our the shale we were using broke. Okay. So let me see about repairing. I, there's not really a good reason to repair the branch because I have so many. But just to see the repair in action. Um, let's see what we have here. Uh, throw, offer, drop, 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 drop. Oh, I think I have to go to the hammer first. Stone hammer, repair. Uh, and then it says, you are not facing a valid item to repair. Okay, so I have to put the item on the ground and then repair it. Uh, but I'm just going to stoke the fire with this because it's about to break anyway. And then obviously I don't want the fire to spread and to cook me. But uh, we're going to sleep. Because as you can see, it's getting late. Uh, apparently I didn't wait long enough. Because we woke up and it looks to still be night. So, it'd be wise to seek shelter or make a camp at night. Yeah, well, my fire is still going. There's a goat here. A goat can be dangerous, as we've learned. I don't know if I'm going to attack it or not. Well, I don't know. I do need to eat. Let me, uh, let me eat some pemmican here. That doesn't do a whole... Well, okay, it, it, it did better than I thought. All right, let me drink my water as well. And go grab some more. Gather that water, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and purify it. We failed. Ah, there we go. All right, so that fire's done. 
All right, let's see. Uh, what? I still need stones and things like that, and I haven't found any. There's usually, like, boulders or something lying around. Also, I don't know what time it is in-game. I don't know how much longer the night is going to persist here. Let's... Let's rest. Your stamina's full, you don't need to rest. Oh, okay. I see how that works. Well, let's see if we can sleep again. We did, but then we just woke up again. Here's the reputation thing, by the way. It seems that as time passes and the struggle for survival continues, the actions I take, which are averse to the benefit of the island, come back to haunt me. When I sow plants or respect the island's inhabitants, less of them seem to be hostile. Likewise, when I gather resources, deface the landscape, or attack creatures, I see malicious beasts much more frequently. So I, last time I mentioned that as you kill things on an island, it starts to get harder. That's true, but apparently it's also connected to how much you harvest and that kind of stuff. Um, so that's not good. Okay, I may want to limit the scope of my damage to the natural environment. Right. So, in other words, I, I, I would be best, I think, if I, you know, simply found things lying on the ground and picked them up, as opposed to chopping trees down, things like that, as opposed to mining. I'm, I'm assuming that's what they're telling us. So walking around at night, as you can see, is fairly difficult, because you just... Your sight range is extremely limited here. Well, what do we have right here? Uh, oh, those are the mushrooms. That's right. Yeah, this isn't very good for exploring. Uh, I want to try to sleep again, but obviously there's going to be... It's not going to help us. It, it says you, your sleep has been uh, interrupted by something stirring around you. I would really like for the sun to come up. We did make a fishing rod. Maybe we could try our hand at a little bit of fishing. I wonder if that counts as defacing the environment. Oh, there's a giant rat. And we've taken care of it. Let's, uh, let's carve that up. I mean, he attacked me. What do you want me to do? Alright, I'm gonna go... this way. See, we can only clear the fog of war, if you will, like one tile at a time when it's dark. Now, when it says you're trampling a fly amanita and a trampling a maple tree, does the island get, you know, I, you know whatever the, the intelligence is behind the island, does it get angry or something when this happens? Just because I did that? This is something I need to know. Alright, so clearly we're going to wait until it's like pitch black, middle of the night next time before we fall asleep. That's one lesson we've learned here. Let's see how far we can go to the west here. That's into the water. I'm just trying to get a sense for the layout of the whole island if I can. All right, let's try some fishing, since we're just wandering around in the darkness anyway. I don't see how that's very helpful. Uh, I'll probably need bait, something I didn't think about. Let's see. It doesn't say anything about that. Let's cast. And it says, your skill in fishing has raised, but nothing seems to be biting here, even though I cast my line out six spaces. All right, so... I don't know if I have to see, like, movement in the water or something like that in order for there to be a successful fish or a fishing experience. I don't know. Uh, Alright, let's try it again. Alright, you see a shadow in the water, so that's, that's something. Alright, this location appears to be too shallow to catch anything. So, now, there's a shark! I should get out of there. I can't see well enough to know what the situation is. Uh, right. Okay, again, it's too shallow. So here's the deeper water. And it's already getting deeper, like, right there. So let's see if we cast our line from here. 
nothing seems to be there, but we still raised our skill. And remember, every time you do something, it's going to raise your skills. Which is one of the things I really like about this game. Alright, so that's not really helping us. It's about time to drink our purified water again as well. So we're going to drink that, now we have to go back and refill it. It does seem to be getting brighter. Slightly brighter, but brighter nonetheless. And as you can see, as we explore, we're starting to see the fog of war, you know, disappear in a much wider radius now instead of just that one tile. Alright, is that seawater? Yeah, that's seawater. Oh, there's something in there. We definitely need to try this. Alright, you attempt to catch the fish without any bait, but it appears uninterested. Yeah, so bait is going to be something we need. Uh, I wonder if I could use the oval, or awful, or whatever. I wonder if I equip it to my right hand, and I go to the right hand here. Can I select this? Just throw or offer it. I guess that's not going to do it, huh? Alright, that's okay. That's okay. Alright, let's go back to finding our fresh water. Oh, poison ivy. No, 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 no. No, we don't want to do that. What is this, by the way? Oh, that's the fly amanita mushroom. Gotcha. Alright. So we're going to gather this up. And we'll make another fire. Hopefully that goat just chills. Uh, Alright. Where is my fire plow? There it is. Alright, so we started a fire. Purify. Make some more pemmican. Oh, we failed. It is likely you will not be able to craft pemmican without many failures because of our skill level being low. Again, I don't want to cook tainted meat. Why would I want to do that? Uh, <clears throat> I don't... Well, we're just going to try. Hey, it worked. You said that we were going to fail, but uh, it worked. So that was very good. Uh, speaking of, it's about time to eat. So uh, what's the best thing I have right now? I have some raspberries. Uh, I thought I had some cooked meat, but here's the pemmican. We'll eat that. And I got to eat a little more, to be honest. And then now our we're kind of dehydrated again. So we got our purified water, so we're going to drink it. And then we're going to come down here, gather the water up again, purify it, just like that. Alright, so this is where we're going to end today's episode, but thank you guys very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back for more very soon. Uh, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.